it's just ticked over now, so it's a good time to start. Hello everyone, I am Jesteban McClure and I will be discussing the Prisoner Dilemma game. Brief overview of what it actually is. Two members of a criminal gang are arrested and imprisoned. Each prisoner is in solitary confinement with no means of speaking to or exchanging messages with the other. The police admit they don't have enough evidence to convict the pair on the principal charge. They plan to sentence both to a year in prison on a lesser charge. Simultaneously, the police officer each prisoner a bargain. Each prisoner is given the opportunity either to betray the other by testifying that the other committed the crime or to cooperate by remaining silent. Now let's ponder a few reasons why someone would be in prison in the first place. Murder, sex crimes, theft, stealing, punching, or sex crimes. Now, Dr. Vogereit is one of the leading, leading economists in this particular field, and I think if you're going to take anything away from today, it's going to be this quote. The prisoner's dilemma game can be used as a model for many real-world situations involving cooperative behaviour. In casual usage, the label prisoner's dilemma may be applied to situations not strictly matching the formal criteria of the classic or iterative games. Next is the payoff matrix, and I'll just explain what this is. The payoff relationship, R is greater than P, implies that mutual cooperation is super, superior to mutual defection, while the payoff relationships, T is greater than R and P is greater than S, imply that defection is the dominant strategy for both agents. That is, mutual defection is the only strong Nash equilibrium in the game, that is, the only outcome from which each player can only do worse by unilaterally changing strategy. The dilemma, dilemma then, is that mutual cooperation yields a better outcome than mutual defection, but it is not the rational outcome because the choice to cooperate at the individual level is not rational from a self-interested point of view. In traditional game theory, some very restrictive assumptions on prisoner behaviour are made. It is assumed that both understand the nature of the game and that despite being members of the same game, it is a Despite being members of the same gang, they have no loyalty to each other and will have no opportunity for retribution or reward outside the gang. More importantly, a very narrow interpretation of rationality is applied in defining the, the decision-making strategies of the prisoners. And that last point is fairly self-explanatory. Now, I will move on to the next part of my presentation, which is a video. Is that all right? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Just need to get something. Keep it playing. Yeah. <laughs> 